Hello everybody. In this uh, video I'm going to show you how to uh, pick up these vent holes in the barrel of the homemade hand engraving machine handpiece. On the uh, two barrels we made, one I made on the uh, lathe and this one I made on the drill press here. So let's start with the one I made on the drill press. I've scribed a mark where I want these holes. I want the holes at 750 thousandths, so I've scribed a little, scribed a mark right there. I used a Sharpie for Dicom and I put, put a mark on it. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to shove this thing up in side. the chuck I'm going to chuck up on it lightly just want it hanging out some hand tight I'm going to bring quill down till it's till the part till our barrels down inside the jaws of the vise and I'm going to tighten the quill down so it'll stay there now got her part in there. Next I'm gonna take a socket that mics out as close as I can find a socket to a half an inch. This is uh, 496 and these barrels they're a little bit under half an inch. This is 490. So it's a little under a half an inch. I've got my socket, it's 494. And I'm going to set that socket right there, right there on the edge of the vise. I'm going to take a straight edge. I'm going to close my jaws till they just about touch. I, want, I still want to be able to slide the vise back and forth. And I'm going to take my straight edge and I'm going to stick it here on the side and I'm going to square this jaw or square the jaws of the chuck up. Okay, I'm bumping up against the socket, I, the half inch socket I put in there and I'm holding it against the, the scale here. So now I've got it right where I want it and I'm going to tighten the vise down. Make sure nothing moves. Everything is still right where I want it. Okay, the, this little socket spaced it. Okay, we're good. Now I'm tight on here. If there's a lot of wobble in your quill, just let it find its own center. You know, push it hard one way or the other. It'll it'll just center up itself. Now I want to clamp the vise down to the table. Let's get her clamped down real good. Okay, the uh, vise is clamped down and it's tight on the barrel. And what that did was just, it's on center now. It's exactly on center. So, now I can loosen up my vise. And Raise the quill back up. Take my part out. All right. Next, I'm going to use a deep well socket. It's under a half an inch, so I'm just using it to hold the barrel up towards the top of the vise. Up there. 
Okay, once again, I'm going to take my straight edge. Let's get in here so you can really see what's going on. I'm going to take my straight edge. I got my line up at the top here so I can kind of see where I'm at. I'm going to take my straight edge. I'm going to push it all, all the way up against my vise here. And I'm going to lock it down. I'm going to tighten the jaws down. All right. Take my center drill, and here's where I'm going to double check it. I'm going to run it down to that line I scribed and make sure it's on the line. Yep, it's right there on the line. Love it. All right, let's tighten down the center drill. And I'll spot it. where I want it. It's moving on me. Make sure it's good and tight. Continue center drilling this. center drill on it. I'm going to take, now I'm going to take the deep well socket out from underneath there. I know I've got her tight enough that it ain't going to move, so I don't need that deep well socket anymore. It did its job already. I'm going to take the uh, center drill out. And now I'm going to put in a 125, 1 8 inch drill. That's what I'm going to use for my vent holes. Here's a better 125. That one was backwards for some reason. I don't know where I got that drill. That holes all the way through. There's one side of it. Now I'm going to take it out of the vise. And there's one hole. On center at 750. Well, it's two holes. There's a pretty good burr it threw up on there, so we're gonna knock that burr off. Knock the burrs off of both sides here. Okay. Burr's knocked off. And I'm going to put my deep well socket back in the vise. And now I want this turned 90 degrees in here. Oops. That's right where I want it. I might want to come in with the Sharpie. I've got her fairly square here. Close enough. I'm going to put a little mark up here. 
so I know where my top is at, where I want this thing. Okay. I'll pull my drill bit back out. Get her back. Okay, my mark's straight up and down. I've got it up against the scale. I'm going to tighten my vise. My center drill, tighten down the chuck, and center drill. Close it. Center drilled. Yeah. Drill back in here. Right down the chuck. And let's drill the other two holes. Okay, before I go through the bottom, let's make sure the deep well socket's out of the way. I don't want to drill a hole in that, and let's finish drilling. And we're through. Now we have our four holes right where we want them. They're right at 750. Knock the burrs off of it. The burrs knocked off of it. There's our four holes at 750. Pretty close. We'll put our burrs look like there's a little bit of burr on the inside. And our half round file. Knock the burrs off that are down here, down by the holes we just drilled. in the center of that hole. It is right in the center. The back part of the quick change tool holder is now right in the center, I don't know if you can see it, of that hole. There, there we go. That's how you can pick up your vent holes with the cheapest vise on the market. That's all I have for this video. That pretty much completes the barrel. So in the next video, I'll uh We'll work on the the jam nut and the handle, but uh, 
that pretty well takes care of. Building the, the barrel for the handpiece. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.